2G, 2G TV, TV media. media. People, it's people. It, it ain't the people in your city you can't go back to your city on. It's the it's the people that you excuse the French shitted on while you was coming up that you you looked on like they nothing now, but they was everything when you needed them. Exactly. That's exactly. why you can't come to the city. A person that's 100 can come to the city, the ghetto, the corner, wherever he want, because he 100, and 100 ain't putting my niggas down with dope, giving this nigga 100 dollars. Excuse the French of even you. Excuse the French of even using nigga. I'm just saying it's it's real. It's authentic. It's not rehearsed. It's it, my voice didn't even change because it's passion in this of what I do. All of this ties into why. Family turnaround is going to be a success because it's kids like me that wanted to work that didn't know where to go. Exactly. Back in my day, we had summer jobs, Astroworlds. We had Mr. Hendersons and, 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 and people that I used to change horseshoes. I used to clean out barns. I pump gas. I push baskets at Price Buster the same change. Not rob, not snatch people's chains. So, we need our we need the, the the youth that's ahead of the youngsters to do better in order for them to so the youngsters can see where to go. Because the youngsters are getting misled by the youth that that wanna provide but they only see the bad ways out here to provide. Because exactly. everything exactly. else has been sucked from the hood. Yeah, yeah. So that that's one of the reasons why you start the youth summer program? Yeah. Big time, because I was one of those kids. I was barefooted. I used to walk from my house to my grandmother's house barefooted. I ain't have no, no, no shoes. I didn't walk because it, it was it, 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 that was the cool thing. I didn't have it. Like I appreciate what I got. Jordan, not full. I have a pair of Jordans that I paid for, but I'm I'm 40 now. I ask you, ask me how many pairs of Jordans I've had in my lifetime. And there's nothing wrong with buying Jordan. If you work hard for your money, you buy what you want. But Jordan already got it. How about scale them Jordans down and buy you a pair of these and then you know a, little, a couple of little guys in the hood that can, that'll be happy with a pair of Chuck Taylors. How about scale yourself down, your LaCosta, your Polo, Yo, this, scale that down just to help somebody else. Why, and you don't know how much God would bless you to do that. But we so self-absorbed with ourselves. We ain't got time for nobody else. We don't have no time for nobody else. See, here goes some true facts. And this is a little bit off the subject, but just some true facts. A lot of the parents that sent their kids to school and they was the first one to go up there and act all stupid and then they moo moo downs and all of this when they was when school was going on now they understand what their kids are now now they calling the police on them and putting them out and they can't stand them and they fighting with them but that was the same stuff the teachers was going through too but they didn't want to hear that but now they now now they see it with school being out so long, now parents seeing what the teacher's going through. So how do you expect a teacher to do what you can't do? You, you, you can't even teach your teachers, your kids now. So how do you expect a teacher to get through your kid when you can't? The first less, the first teacher is the parent. Exactly, exactly. So not, I ain't mean to just get a little off subject, but all of that ties into what I'm saying because the program is meant if we can help some youngsters bring a little extra income to their house, they can probably take an hour or two off their mama's schedule where mama can come home and cook a meal or spend time with them. They, it, it, feel good. it felt good when I was able to buy groceries and bring in the house or hand my little brother or, or sister them some money for the field trip or be able to buy the stuff that I probably wasn't able to get or buy them some, some, some little socks to match or a little shirt or something to match that I didn't have. That felt good. It's a lot of kids just like me. Exactly, exactly. A lot. That's the, that's the root of that. 
see, and then that's just that. Cameron is the Cameron is the root of Cameron's precision. Yeah. So without him, we did that. Yeah, one one is one one was one was a blessing. One was such a blessing. Cameron's precision grew so fast till I had to get out of the mind frame of a guy with a truck, a a a a, a guy with a lawnmower and a, that's cutting yards. I had to get out of that. The the business pushed me out of that mind frame. Exactly, because you're not just doing it. You're a business now. I had to go get paperwork and insurance. I had to go and I had to catch up with these payment systems and everything. I was just about waiting on cash. Now we don't even touch cash. That's a long way. That's I don't have to see. I don't have to say no cap because person that know my character know that ain't even what I'm about anyway. See what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's a lot of stuff that I don't have to say because if you know me, that's enough said right there.